The most important experience we have had and which we profess almost as a religion is that the Russian occupiers and any other enemies must be destroyed, simply destroyed, and most importantly, not afraid to do so. And this is what we do. This is a phrase from a recent interview with the main man in charge of the war in Ukraine, General Valery Zalushny, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of Ukraine. What else important Zalushny said in his interview? He has fired 10 generals since the start of the war, replacing them with more competent ones, another general shot himself. All other Ukrainian generals Zalushny fully trusts and listens to their opinions, not considering himself the only smart one. The main thing is not to be afraid of the enemy, and not to give him a break. According to Zalushny's calculations, the Russians have been actively stockpiling resources for three years. At the same time the accumulated resources were enough for three months of war to fully achieve their goals. The attempt to take Kiev was the most logical decision from the point of view of military logic, and Zalushny himself would do so in their place. The escape of troops from near Kiev and the change of focus of the war to the Donbass were necessary to preserve the resources of the Russian armed forces. In strategic terms, the battle for Donbass has no chance of winning for the occupiers. Now they continue fighting along the entire front line in the hope of depleting Ukraine's armed forces, most likely in parallel building up resources somewhere beyond the Urals for a new offensive. However, their quality is lousy, and their potential is weak, and it does not matter how much cannon fodder they will call into the army. The main thing now is not to give up current positions and prepare for the Russian offensive, which may begin between the end of January and March. It is possible to attack both Kiev and the south of Ukraine or Donbas. To counter these plans, it is very important to organize reserve units and concentrate equipment in them, even at the cost of under-receiving it by those currently on the front lines. The main thing that the Allies can supply now, tanks, infantry fighting vehicle and armored personnel carrier, ammunition, and air defense. Ukraine can reach the February 23rd line if it has 300 tanks, about 700 infantry fighting vehicles and 500 howitzers, and artillery ammunition in numbers that are close to World War I levels. Some Western Allies are swooning as they calculate how much it will cost. The mobilization in Ukraine will take place at the same level, as it is now. There is no need for many hundreds of thousands of soldiers. The AFU has enough men, needs more weapons, with the resources we have now, Ukraine cannot conduct new major operations, although the AFU is now working on one. This operation is on the way. The liberation of Militopol would give Ukraine full fire control over Russia's supply lines from Crimea. There were no protests about mobilization in Russia, people went to die for the Tsar again. Sooner or later, they will undoubtedly try to take Kiev again. And tomorrow I will share about interesting observations after reading Ukrainian general staff summaries, see you tomorrow.